Hi, this is Jay Richards with the Discovery Institute, and we're here at COSM 2019, and I am joined by Andre Vujic, uh, who is the CTO of AT&T, and he has just gotten finished talking about 5G and upcoming technology, and actually was on a very exciting and uh, controversial panel. So, uh, Andre, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Jay. Great to be here. Well, so distill uh, your presentation before the panel started this morning. Give your presentation, or your take on 5G, sure. where we're headed. Sure. So, you know, 5G, most people think of 5G, obviously, as faster speeds, mm -hmm. and certainly 5G will deliver gigabit plus speeds, but also uh, much, much lower latency. That's okay. net network latency. So waiting. And, yeah, yeah. Right, and so this is a, and, and it's significant. Mm -hmm. um, and what's going to really enable this is not just the network lowering latency, but also it will enable edge computing. Okay, what's that mean? So edge computing is basically, right now there's only two places you can uh, run workloads. Mm -hmm. uh, one is on your device or up in the cloud. Yeah. Uh, but there isn't a place in between. With 5G though, it will create a third place where you can run workloads. And we think this is going to be a big game changer. So think about really latency sensitive applications mm -hmm. like online gaming yes. or autonomous vehicles uh, or drones yes. that need to be connected and get near or real time information. So it's not going to be, can't be a distant cloud, you can't deal with a satellite. You need something that's nearby but not necessarily right that's in your right. device. Is that the idea? That's right. Okay. So if you have an application that's sitting in a cloud data center that's mm -hmm. a thousand miles away, yeah. uh, that potentially could be hundreds of milliseconds away. And uh, be autonomous too late. cars, it's like a little slow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you could uh, hit the hop, uh, hit that pothole. Yeah. Uh, uh, long before you ever get a response back to move out of the lane. Okay. So, so where are we on the timeline? I mean, we've been seeing chirons and headlines about 5G for several years, yeah. and people that aren't in the tech world, most people have heard that. Okay, it's something cool coming. But I mean, where are we? When, when is this going to happen? Yeah, so AT&T has already deployed uh, mm -hmm. its 5G network. In fact, we have it now available in parts of 21 cities. Okay, is that right? And we plan to deploy it uh, uh, up to 30 cities here in the near future. Mm -hmm. um, also, we expect to be nationwide 5G by mid-year 2020. Is that right? So that's not no, so uh, we're less than a year away. away. That's right, less than a year away. And Right now, customers can experience, now the, the issue is there are not very many devices out there. There are just mm -hmm. a handful of devices uh, that can actually take advantage right. of the speed. But for example, in uh, downtown Dallas, where uh, AT&T headquarters mm -hmm. is, uh, and also conveniently is a 5G <laughs> It's uh, one of the cities, yeah. Uh, uh, which may seem obvious. Uh, you know, you can get upwards of a gigabit speed on mm. uh, on your device. Uh, we also sell a Wi-Fi hotspot okay. uh, device also uh, that connects to that network. So we're finally reaching, this seems like it's been a receding horizon for several years, but it sounds like, yeah, within a year here, at least in some it's places. It's definitely coming, and you'll see, we'll, uh, uh, at the end of the year here, you'll see us uh, announce an, an, a new device mm -hmm. uh, that will be coming to market here for the holiday season. And going into 2020 is really when I think you'll begin to see a lot more devices coming out that will be 5G okay. enabled. Okay, coming at Christmas, or at least a little That's after. Right. That's right. <laughs> so t let's talk a little bit about this interesting panel. So there's actually a joke on the panel that the conference is not a pure vendor-sponsored event, so it's sort of everything was flying. And so, you know, I, I don't know how to summarize the panel, actually. There's a little AI, a, a good bit of um, crypto and security, and a little bit of 5G, but how would you sort of summarize the conversation? Yeah, look, it was certainly a, uh, uh, an open, unorchestrated yes. uh, uh, well, George panel Gilbert, discussion. Yeah, yes. sort of prodding. Yeah, and I think you know we, uh, you know, the spectrum of uh, topics was pretty wide on this this panel. So we went everywhere from all the way down into uh, what's going on in the silicon in terms of the silicon and uh, how is security going to get uh, better or be addressed, mm -hmm. uh, all the way down into the. Uh, public and private key level that go into the silicon chips. Uh, frankly, all the way up to, you know, what are some of the big applications that are emerging? Uh, for example, uh, Jules talked about mm -hmm. um, how uh, sp uh, rendering of holographic images yes. and how content will now get uh, rendered and take advantage 
of these new network capabilities. So it was really fascinating. I think we also ventured into sort of what's going on in China, yes. what's going on in the U.S. in terms of these various races mm -hmm. that are going on um, uh, on, these, on these different technology fronts. And then there was also just a lot of uh, discussion of, you know, how is this all going to get rationalized? How is this yeah. going to make things better? Um, so uh, the panel was just frankly all over the place, <laughs> but it was a great discussion. It was, and you're, I mean, I know you used, it was the Arthur C. Clarke quote, right? That we, I, I forget it exactly, but essentially, we don't, we don't know the future, we know it's gonna be fantastic. So you're, you're, you're optimistic about where we're headed. A absolutely, I think you know, one of the things, and this was part of my talk, mm -hmm. was to show that uh, we are now on the brink of being able to connect many, many more things than we've ever seen before. And just by the fact of being able to connect more things, you know, look at the more traditional wireless uh, networks that we've had in right. the preceding generations. It frankly was just about connecting phones, mm -hmm. right? Uh, some were sort of dumb phones, some yep. were more feature phones, some are now you know, obviously more smart phones. Mm -hmm. um, and these were really more of kind of a one-to-one -one relationship with, yeah. with uh, people. Uh, 5G obviously will take that to the next level, but also opens up the aperture to connect everything else. Right. So it's gonna be more about connecting uh, the machines mm -hmm. in our lives, uh, the gadgets, right. these objects, whether they be in our homes, in our cars, or at where we work or where we play. And once all of that con connectivity begins to happen, I think we'll see you know, amazing new use cases that haven't even been thought up yet. Yeah. So it's going to be an exciting future. It is. It's it's a fun time to be alive, yes, for sure. Absolutely. Andre Fuchs, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, and thanks for being here. This is Jay Richards at uh, COSM 2019. Thanks for joining me.